Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. I know it's been a little while since I uploaded a video to my YouTube channel and I'm so sorry. I hope to be back shortly with some more junk journal with me videos, but for today I really wanted to share these journals with you. These journals will be going up in my Etsy shop. I did take a class to learn how to make these journals, so the class was being run by Amy who is Kitty Witty Papercraft on Instagram and YouTube. I will leave her information down in the description box for you. So these journals were made out of little golden books and all I've done is alter them to create a wider spine. So the spine is about two inches wide and the book is approximately six by eight inches. They all have four signatures and 60 pages. So that is about 120 sides front and back. So these journals are loosely based around springtime. They all have an animal on the front cover and the pages inside have lots of floral prints, but that doesn't mean that you can just use them for springtime. They'd be perfect for documenting your summer and any other time during the year too. I will go ahead and show you each one individually so you can get a look at what kind of pages are inside. This one is The Rabbit's Adventure. It may not look like there's many pages inside, but it really will allow you to bulk up and add your own photos and ephemera in. Like I said, it has four signatures and it's got a grey waxed linen thread and there's a little grey eyelet so that you can add your own beads and charms. Let's look at the back. So this fabric I actually picked up from a charity shop here in the UK. I think in America you call them thrift shops and in Australia I think you might call them op shops. But here in the UK we call them charity shops and this beautiful floral fabric is actually from a pillowcase that I picked up. And I love recycling things like that from the charity shops into my projects. There's also this lovely green rickrack trim on it as well. That's on the back too. On the inside front cover and on the inside back cover, I've just covered the book with some scrapbook paper. The scrapbook paper is from the Crate Paper Fresh Bouquet range. All of the journals come with a little bag of goodies in the front as well. So there are approximately 18 pieces and there's just some journaling cards and some tags and some die cut pieces and you can use them in the journal wherever you wish. I love the little bag as well. <laughs> a lot of the scrapbook papers in these journals are either from Crate Paper Fresh Bouquet or they're also from Craft Consortium Hackney & Co Wildflower Meadow and this is a Hackney & Co one. They all do include um, the front page of the book. I haven't included all of the pages from the story because I wanted a variety of pages. Um, I know some of you do prefer to have the whole book included but I haven't done that. Um, so they all do have the very first page from the book. So some of the little golden book journals do have some washi tape on the page and that's because some of the pages were ripped and I didn't want them to get any worse. So I've just fixed them a little bit with some washi tape and I tried to match the washi tape to what was on the page. This is a glassine bag and I've left it closed so that you can choose whether you want to open it on the side or at the top or just use it as a separate page. There are some goodies scattered throughout the journal. I think there are approximately 20 different pieces. This is from Crate Paper Fresh Bouquet. And this is a full page that took me a while to work out how to bind in, but you can do some writing or attach photos to that. There's an envelope here that you can um, move wherever you wish and there is a bigger gap in between the signatures because I've added more pages into each signature and done less signatures. So there's a different variety of papers. There's some music paper, scrapbook paper, book pages. This is vintage ledger paper and this is an old, I don't know if it's old, I don't know how old it is, but I thought it was really pretty. It has this lovely floral um, bouquet on the front and it just opens up. So it's like a 
full page. And they all have one of these as well. So the pages are similar, but some of the scrapbook papers might be a bit different, but they're all from the same collection. Some more ledger paper. This is an old dictionary book page, and I love how it's got the pictures to some of the words as well. So doily. I love this paper. So this page is from a Heidi storybook. The book is from 1934 and I absolutely love all this colouring down the page and the book was in tatters. I only paid about 50 pence for the book in a charity shop and the spine was completely broken, the covers was completely creased, the pages have been ripped and got some water damage on them so I tried to salvage as much as I possibly could but I just love the colouring on it. And this is a little pocket, it opens up at the top. And this is an Edith Holden book page. And this is a DL, uh, <laughs> um, this is a DL envelope and you can use it to put a photograph in because it's got the pocket. So a little envelope and a little tea card. Some paper scraps here, and that's the end of that one. So this journal is called Birds, and this is probably my favourite out of the four of them. I absolutely love the front cover. I love the fabric too. I'm not sure who I got it from though. I either bought it from Moonside Parlour or Penny and Rose Papery. I just can't remember which. <laughs> um, that's the back cover the top and the side this one also has a goodie bag but it's slightly different i won't show you inside because it's pretty much the same just different papers and slightly different journal cards there's a pocket and this one's also got the first page of the book too another pocket some vintage music paper a doily this is an Edith Holden book page and I love the birds on this one. Another pocket. I love this page. Unfortunately, I had to chop the bird off because of the way the little golden book is. I had to chop some of the pages off. So it's a bit of a shame, but I feel like the main feature of this page is the little girl. Some tickets in there. Another vintage dictionary page. It's a flip out page. And as you can see, you can see the eyelet in the middle here. So it's really easy for you to add your own charms and beads if you wanted to. I love this paper. There's another Heidi book page and again a full out page there, flip out page, I like this page too. <laughs> another pocket. Another flip out page, there's another DL envelope. So this one is what Lily Goose found. And this fabric here was kindly gifted to me by Siobhan, who is Journal Reimagined. Um, she kindly gifted me this and a couple other bits of fabric and I thought it went really well with this journal and there's also some pink rickrack trim on the side and this is the back it's got another goodie bag 
and again the front page and it's just got some washi tape here just to protect it from getting any further damaged some vintage ledger paper the flip out page this lined paper is not vintage it's just modern lined paper for you to do some writing on it's another envelope that you can move around Again, another one of these full pages. So this is open at the top. It's the other side of the DL envelope. And this is an Edith Holden book page. It's a flip out page. There's a deal envelope, some tickets. I love this paper with the bunny rabbits on. A glass in bag, again, you can either open it at the top or the side. And these glass in bags are vintage, so there may be some yellowing or discolouring to them. Vintage ledger paper, that old Heidi book page. This is the last one, it's the golden egg book. And this beautiful brown fabric actually came from a charity shop for 50 pence. It was originally a pillowcase and I thought it went really well with this cover. And this is the back. And it's got another one of these goodie bags. It's another front page of the book. I love using vintage music paper in my journals because I am learning to play the piano. So I love including those types of papers in my journals. The flip out page. Another DL envelope. A pocket. An Edith Holden book page. Another pocket. A flip out page. Flip out page there. Pocket. This is another one of those floral full pages again. Pocket. And that's the last one. So these are all the journals that I will have for sale in my Etsy shop. At the time of filming this video, I don't know when that's going to be, but I will leave the information down in the description box for you in case you want to check them out. I haven't filmed a video in so long and I'm so rusty, so if there is anything that I have forgotten to mention, please leave me a comment and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I do hope to have some more videos up on my channel soon. I hope you're all doing really well. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.